Hello, my name is John Rose, and in this video I'd like to take a closer look at one of the many secrets in the world that the people who rule the world want to be secret. Now I've already done a video on what I think is the best kept secret in the world and you can go to the description box and see that video. But in this video I'm going to take a look at one of the many secrets. Might not be the best kept secret but it's right up there. In fact I might even want to start a series on the best kept secrets in the world because when you take a look at our belief system you realize there's a lot of things we don't know. But this one we're going to look at uh, has to do with the illusion of scarcity. This is one of the best kept secrets in the world, or actually the, the, the secret itself is that we live on an abundant planet. And the way we're tricked into not understanding that is to say that there is scarcity, to create this false illusion that there's scarcity. And all you have to do to create this scarcity is understand what the second president of the United States said, who was the first vice president, and that would be John Adams. He said there are two ways to conquer and enslave a nation. One is by the sword, and the other is by debt. And that's where we are right now. We are debt slaves, and we have been conquered, literally. Uh, and this is hard for a lot of people to understand because money seems to be too confusing. But there are two YouTube videos you can go watch that explain this quite nicely. They illustrate it really easily to see how the, the way the system is set up, it creates uh, an enslavement system. It, uh, but anyway, those two, those two uh, YouTube videos would be Zeitgeist Addendums and the Thrive documentary. And in fact, go to the common links and common flaws in the Zeitgeist uh, movement and the Thrive movement uh, or something along those lines and the conspiracy theorists. And you'll see a video I did where I, 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 I give a, a recap of what they are saying about how the money system is. <clears throat> so. It's, uh, and then the people who are behind it. But uh, in this video, we want to focus on the fact that we do live on an abundant planet, but we've been tricked into thinking, no, there's scarcity. Again, they create this system where it's impossible to come out of, and these two YouTube videos explain how that works. And then a lot of the debt is actually made up. It's what we call odious debt. And we see what happened when Iceland decided to audit their books in 2011. And they found that over 90% of their debt was odious debt, meaning they didn't owe this debt. It was all made up. And it's real similar to the way the derivatives are being done. And I'm not going to digress into all of that um, because we need to make this simple and realize it's not complicated, that, that the way the system is set up is money is used as a tool to control us. And when you can have more money than all the rest and you can own and control everything, that... Uh, uh, can be used to then control us. So uh, money is the absolute tool of control and we need to take that power away from the people who rule the world because they're using that to create this illusion of scarcity when we live on an abundant planet. Now to illustrate by point, there are two countries recently, uh, last century, that uh, broke away from this debt slavery system and they soon became the most prosperous countries on this planet at a time when all the rest of the world was starving. In America we were starving, the Great Depression. And yet Germany came along and Japan came along and said, look, we're not going to let foreigners print our money and then charge us interest for it and have us become debt slaves. Remember, there are two ways to conquer and enslave a nation. One is by the sword, the other is by debt, and we're debt slaves. And when Germany and Japan broke away from that, look what happened. The people who are debt masters can't allow that to happen, can they? So they got the rest of the world to attack these two countries. And since history is written by the victors, they lied about everything and said, they're the bad guys, oh my God, we had to get them. You can't trust the history books, my friend. Uh, if you understand history is written by the victors, why do you believe anything you read? Uh, and that goes with the other side of the, of the story. So you got to look at both sides and go, okay, is there a common theme over here? Yeah, there sure is. And it's obvious what's being done. We're being tricked and fooled. Uh, we're not being told what really happened. And since, in fact, before they were able to trick America into fighting the war and coming into the war, most Americans were in favor of Germany because the people who owned the press was telling that to people. 
But then they said, hey, we got an idea. I won't go into this now. Uh, but they had, we got an idea. Let's change our mind and we'll be against Germany for a good reason. Uh, according to them, they, they were conniving. And, uh, and, and they were able to totally sway public opinion by making up lies about Germany from the very get-go. Oh, my God, they're doing this and they're doing this and it's all lies. In fact, if you really want to understand what happened, is take a look at what General Patton said when he went over there after the war as the military governor and he had a chance to look at everybody. And he goes, after a while, he started realizing, oh my God, I'm looking at this group and this group and the Germans, and we made a mistake. We destroyed the best group out of the whole Europe. The Germans were the best. Everyone else were not so good, but they were manipulated because the people who rule the world, they financed both sides of wars to begin with. Even Germany was financed initially. But Hitler understood the problem with debt-based currency. Usury is what brings down countries. That's why it's been forbidden. In fact, Christians forbade it until the Knights of Templar discovered these books under the Temple of Solomon. And, uh, and then the Knights of Templar became the first bankers. So that's what brought down the Roman Empire is this form of usury. It, we saw the damage it did back then. Uh, Muslims to this day still forbid the use of usury, which is why there's a war against Muslims. When you look at the big picture and you find out who's pulling the strings, you realize, oh, okay, the, um, the Satanists uh, snuck into the Jewish religion and now they're calling themselves Jews when they're Zionists, they're Satanists. And then they got the other two religions, Christians and Muslims, to fight against one another. Uh, and that's how the wars are arranged. In fact, if you study Albert Pike, who was commissioned by the Illuminati to, to draft three world wars, the third one was to create a hatred toward Muslims. So even when you look at anybody who's talking about this, you can see how it's generating hatred for this group of people. And all you have to do if you're the rules of the world is take a group of those people and get them to do bad things, and then you're going to hate that group. And then you control the press, just like we, just like America was able to turn uh, the, the public around in the newspaper because they lie to them. People believe what they read in the newspaper. We're waking up to this reality. There are a lot of secrets out there. A lot of us are realizing, and that's the beauty about this time right now. There are a lot of people who understand uh, that, that this, how this money system works. I'm not, you know, there's a lot of people who watch the Thrive documentary. A lot of people watch the Zeitgeist. So there's a lot of people who really understand how this money system works. But I explained that most people's solutions are at best band-aid approaches and one is the right direction but it's on our to get list and I explained that in the common links and common flaws so in Zeitgeist Addendum they had the right idea to have a resource based economy but that's actually on our to get list not on our to do list we have to go upstream to figure out how to get reconnected so that we automatically have that mentality we got the wrong mentality right now and we just can't think our way into it makes sense to have a resource based economy of course it does but we can't think about it, we gotta feel it. And that's when it happens. So there's only one way to make that happen, and that is when enough of us do something to get everyone's attention so we can reach the tipping point. Because things will never change unless we reach the tipping point, and things will never change unless we change our mentality. Only one way to change our mentality, and that's to, uh, uh, to do something that we've never done before, and then you'll be part of that group that gets everyone's attention. And what I'm talking about is the first of a three-step process that I perfected. It's one of three ways to correct five big mistakes we're making. The first mistake is what destroyed one of our senses, and that's the biggest mistake we gotta correct. That's why we have the wrong mentality. That's why we have an exchange mentality to begin with. This is why uh, we have money. There are seven stages of money. I may do a video on that uh, uh, all by itself. I, had, I may or may not, I'm not sure if I'll do that or not. But anyway, uh, every, uh, six of those have to do with the wrong mentality. One of them is the gift mentality. So this is what we're supposed to have, and we can't comprehend it unless we get reconnected because it's not something we have to think about. You don't think about smelling and seeing and hearing. It's not, it's not a thought process. It's an automatic, and that's what we're missing as a species. And how do you explain color to a blind person? So this is something you have to do yourself. So I have a link down below in the description box on how to do the first of a, uh, a three-step process I perfected. Uh, in reality, there's only one thing we have to do to, to totally turn this plan around, and that is to satisfy two groups of needs, 
when you do my first step the right way, you're going to satisfy both those needs. You can't just remove the primary causes. You have to realize that there can be individualized damage. And that's where you're going to play a role in figuring out what you got to do. So you know your body better than anyone else. When you take my first step, document everything you're doing. Pay attention to it. Do a little research. Um, if you think you got to go to a doctor, fine. But realize most of them aren't going to know what's going on. And you may be just having a cleansing reaction, but we don't know. That's the tricky part. How do we really know? Well, a cleansing reaction is just a flu-like symptom. So uh, if that's all you're experiencing, you've had that before, no big deal. Um, uh, but, but, you have to, but you have to realize that we do it to ourselves. This is another best kept secret in the world. We are the enemy, uh, but we are also the ones we've been waiting for. So again, I may do a series on the best kept secrets in the world. And this one right here is that we live on abundant planet. Germany and Japan prove to the world that we live on abundant planet and our debt masters cannot allow that to happen. So they owned the media, they brainwashed everyone, they made sure the history books were written that told their story, that these guys were bad and they did all these bad things and it's all hokum, it's all bullshit. It's amazing how much, or how many references we have that support these beliefs. It's one of the most important secrets they have to maintain. That's why they'll hire people like Alex Jones to do only one thing to perpetuate this myth. Because Alex Jones is guilty of fell in the Hitler test. Every show he does, he's putting out good information, he does good interviews, but then, what does he do? Slams Hitler every time, every show, Nazis Hitler, Nazis Hitler, Nazis Hitler, Nazis Hitler, reinforcing this belief that these people are the epitome of evil. Anybody who uses Hitler and Nazis as the epitome for evil on a re repeated basis like that is obviously a shill and is part of controlled opposition. And this is how controlled opposition works. They'll tell you a hundred things or a thousand things that are true just to get you to believe in the one lie that is crucial to them. The one lie is one of the best kept secrets in the world, that we live on an abundant planet. No, there's scarcity. Don't look at our debt system. Don't look at what Hitler did in Germany, in Japan. Don't look at what they did because they proved to the world that we live on an abundant planet. So be wary of your belief system. Question everything that takes away your responsibility. And remember, you are the ones you've been waiting for, so it's time to get excited. It's time to do the first of my three-step process, and when you do, I guarantee you, my friends, you're in for a treat.